now the rickets when the vitamin deficiency takes place in the childhood then the condition is known as rickets now what is the causes of vitamin d deficiency inadequate intake inside the diet as well as the less exposure to sun so people who are living in the areas where the sun rays are not properly coming to the earth so these are more having the vitamin d deficiency now which are the clinical features of the these rickets mainly present inside the children calcium and phosphate deficiency in the ecf when there is a conditions of uh, hypocalcemia there will be decrease in the calcium and phosphate level inside the extracellular fluid it weakens the bones and bowing due to weight bearing so due to excessive weight this type of uh, deformity or the deformation bone is takes place in the later stages detainee may develop hypocalcemic detainee specifically now what is the treatment of rickets increased dietary calcium and phosphate iron as well as the large amount of vitamin d we have to given to the patients of the rickets osteomalacia now which are the causes of osteomalacia which is known as adult rickets the causes includes the dietary deficiency of vitamin d or the calcium iron steatorrhea and renal damage so that is what the reason behind the osteomalacia now how the renal damage causes the osteomalacia or decrease in the calcium and concentration because here the activity of the vitamin d or activation of the vitamin d is uh, occurring through the kidney so step by step its activity takes place through the kidney when the kidney is damaged the vitamin d activation process is hampered so due to this there will be decrease in the vitamin d and hence there will be decrease in the calcium ion concentration and hence there will be the conditions of hypocalcemia which is known as osteomalacia or adult rickets clinical features severe bone disability so that is the clinical feature of the osteomalacia so this is what happening in the patients of the osteomalacia